one day and counting. Yes, guys, Thursday is on the horizon. We can see it. We can feel it. We can sense it. And you know what's happening tomorrow. I'm not talking about the NBA draft and who's going to go number one, two, three, four. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that fascinating matchup of the World Cup soccer between the United States and Germany, which all of you out here watching this video report are going to be glued to your TVs watching because, you know, if you appreciate soccer like I do, a guy who feels it's as interesting as watching sand aimlessly drift across the beach... You know, that could be certainly on the agenda tomorrow, but I am talking about the big sporting event on Thursday, guys. We are T-minus, what, 30-some hours from the time I'm doing this video report and counting to the kickoff of the regular season of the Canadian Football League. Yes, sir, we've got Winnipeg taking on Toronto. Guys, how can you go against the Blue Bombers tomorrow night? I'm serious. It's the CFL, for Christ's sake. you got to be in on this. Yeah. Okay, we continue. Yesterday was not a great day here for the handicappers here at the site because all the guys that I targeted for discounted plays all lost. Now, you know, they've been on quite a roll, but unfortunately it did happen. Uh, Trace Adams lost that double your wager 2000 star play after winning the previous one the night earlier. Uh, Scott Delaney had a big 150 dime play after winning one the night earlier and lost. And Brad Welton's total on the uh, Mets and A's staying under was over by the uh, third or fourth inning, I believe. And that's why there are no guarantees in gambling. So we reload and we do it one more time today. Better than half price offer today is going to be Jeff Benton, the second top rated 109 baseball play of the season for him. And at least rivalry game of the year, Phillies and Marlins. Now, he won the first 109 play last Thursday when he took the Yankees and they beat Toronto at home. That was a play you got just for $14. Today, save $75 on the purchase price by using Benton 75. Uh, by the way, $10 betters following just betting advice in all sports have won over $8,100 since early April. Uh, the $5 play of the day, Matt Rivers, one and only 500,000 star NL total of the month. The Phillies Marlins matches his biggest baseball release of his career. You get it for $5 by using coupon code MATT5, M-A-T-T in the number five. And then Chris Jordan, top rated 1,000 star run line punisher. He says it's a five run mismatch. Dollar betters have made over $6,100 the past 18 days following Chris. Two and a half times bigger than his 400-star winners on the Angels on the run line last night. The Twins on Sunday, the A's on Saturday. You save $80, which means you get it for $19 by using coupon code CJ80. CJ80. Remember, all those coupon codes, all the details, blah, 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 are on the homepage of the site. <laughs> Can you tell I'm just enthralled with this report today? Let's get to your complimentary plays. Okay, first one, I'm going to ride this Tigers minus the dollar 45 at Texas. Annabelle Sanchez has just been dynamite after a rough start this season, a 1.29 earn run average and four road starts this season. Um, last eight starts, he is personally 4-0 with a 1.82 earn run average. And one of those starts was a victory against the Rangers back on May 23rd when he allowed just two runs on five hits over seven innings in the win. Now, the Rangers are going with Joe Saunders, who has bounced between the rotation and the uh, bullpen after being signed right before the season started, I believe, for the pitching poor Rangers. Uh, he has had a brutal, brutal month of June. Uh, opponents are hitting 328 or 368 against him in four June starts. He lasted only four and two-third innings in his last start Friday against Angels in those four and two-third innings. Gave up 10 hits, seven runs, and for good measure, he Walk three batters. In those uh, four starts this month, covering 22 innings, uh, he's given up 35 hits and 11 runs, and he's never fared well against the Tigers in 10 career starts. Uh, he's got a 5.20 earned run average. Now, the Tigers are on another one of those streaks, which has really been the story of the Tigers all season. I mean, they pitch well and hit well, or they don't pitch well and they don't hit. And it seems like both of those things, they run concurrently, and they alternate good and bad, good and bad streaks the whole damn season. Uh, they won the series opener 8-2 to two last night. That was their fifth straight win. In their last four games, they've scored 8, 10, 5, and 6 runs. That's 29 runs in four games. They're off to a 4-0 start on their current road trip. Rangers have lost six in a row. They haven't scored more than two runs in uh, four of their last five games. And the Tigers are now 22-13 and 13 on the road. So Rangers are under 500 at home. And I think you go ahead and lay the juice with the Tigers in this one. The other play, I'm going to go with the Mets, uh, who just walloped the Oakland A's last night 10-1 to in the opener of this brief two-game series at City Field. Uh, and, of course, they capped the series at Miami on Sunday by scoring 11 runs against the Marlins. So for a team that's been struggling, again, being inconsistent all season offensively, even fired their hitting coach about a month and a half ago, not too bad for the Mets, who have won three in a row and five out of six. 
after, of course, losing 11 out of 14. Uh, listen, they're going with Zach Wheeler tonight. Um, although he's owing three and five home starts, his ERA is not bad at 3.94. He's coming off his first career complete game win and a one nothing shutout of the Marlins in Miami last Thursday. Struck out eight, allowed only three hits and going the distance. Of course, can keeping with the tone of this report, telling you the good and the bad. The bad is that in his previous two starts, he gave up eight runs and eight and two third innings. Okay. Uh, Brad Mills um, is going for the ace. Uh, you know, he made his first major league outing uh, since pitching one game for the Angels in 2012, uh, last Friday at home against Boston, and it wasn't too good. Uh, four innings work, three runs allowed, walked four batters, needed 94 pitches to get through those four innings. That was his A's debut, and again, as I said, first appearance in the big leagues in a couple of years. I'll go with the Mets in this one. I mean, you're laying like 105, 110. Why not? So go with the Mets. Go with the Tigers. Go forth. Win money. Prepare for World Cup soccer. Prepare for that monstrous opener in the Canadian Football League tomorrow night. I mean, I just can't wait. Take it easy, guys, and I'll talk to you again on Thursday when we do this one more time.